Thank you. I want to say thank you to Chis Juan and especially to Mario Pitbull from Chis Juan Argentina. Gracias, Mario. Uh, and thank you for Chis Juan Hungarian for this for your hospitality and for this beautiful city. Uh, not Salon. It says. I work in the Ministry of Public Health in Argentina. I am the security coordinator from Remediar. So here we go. Just a few words in order to put Remediar in context for you. We live in a mid-income country in South America with a high consumption of drugs. C3% of people, almost 28 millions of population, consume medicine every month and around 50% of our health costs go to medicines. So we have a problem with medicine, a rational use problem, and a problem with social equi equity too. Argentina's Republic has a federal division of power. In this order, public health care is a financial, is a provincial responsibility. It means that each one of the 24 provinces defines their own organization, their, Federal governments, and when I work, define federal rules, implement the toolkit of policy, and provide by financing some uh, health service in order to achieve equity in your development. Assure access to medicine is one of these national policies and the reason of the resistance of remedial. Almost 59 million patients visit to physicians every year in the public primary health care provider, and, 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 and similar amount in hospitals too. So there are maybe 10, hundred million people. I include here neither social security nor private sector because there is subsistence drug deliveries is done through community pharmacies. All, uh, the green points here represent this primary health care provider all around the country. Around 16 million people use it. Only at primary level, 38 million of prescriptions are produced, which is 3.2 million on average every month. There are 5,000 kilometers, or 3,100 miles for you, from Ushuaia in the end of the world to La Quiaca near Bolivia. It's uh, like 30 times Hungary and five and a half times Spain. Compared with other Latin American countries, my country has an important pharmaceutical industry with more than 250 pharmaceutical manufacturers. It's 1% of the global market and take up the fourth place in Latin American markets. As it was presented here many times, the ADMAT or federal agency regulated pharmaceutical activities <clears throat> To record the batch numbers in all the commercial documents are among stakeholder and public provided is required, but in 2011, a track and trace system was approved. This allows to establish and record the way followed by particular drugs from its manufacturer to its final destination, which is typically the dispensal point. It consists of using a unique and an ambiguous Sorry, a unique and an ambiguous code placed in the packaging of each retail unit of the pharmaceutical product, which is transmitted to a centralized database <coughs> managed by ADMAT. Each agent involved in the supply chain must record logistical movement of drugs transmit this, their information to the, to the database on a real-time basis. So how Remediar works in this context? We have four phases. We select, we procure, we distribute, and we utilize, we use, we use, sorry. First of all, we select two kinds of drugs from the WHO, the World Health Organization Essential Medicine Lines. One lines for primary care in public context. There are 79 essential item, items included in this list. And the other list is defined by vertical problems. So this work out by, by priority uh, healthcare lines, for instance, AIDS or TB control, some, so on. This is a view of our operation with drugs in terms of tracking system. The amount of, item, of items was in, incremented four times between 2002 and 2010 for almost 40 to almost 200 items. And 49.8 units are received for suppliers. 
we trace all secondary package. In 2011, started new tracking regulations, so nowadays 74 items require tracking by serial code number. Just a few important characters to remark in this point. We use international common denomination and rational use criteria. We define the packaging, as you could see in the slide before, and this is mandatory for suppliers. So in order to support this process, we elaborate in collaboration with Chis One Argentina, a guide to identify products, and it was incorporated into the bidding process. And also we elaborate an arts and style manuals in order to standardize the packaging designs and incorporate to the bidding process too. We use Chitin's codes to define secondary packages to, to optimize inventory management. And we started negotiation for the purpose of incorporating electronic data interchange too. Here you have the labels and data careers required. <clears throat> These are available in the website, you can see it. We use data matrix as a data career. The code is, has associ associated information. Yeah, a plus from sheeting, we have batch, date of expiration, serial number when required, and an internal remedy are called with a nineteen call for this one. And also human readable information is included in the printable label. This is uh, our core process, selection process. So sh you can say we receive, we stock up, we produce, and deliver. We receive products from pharmaceutical manufacturers in pellets. Pellets are composed by unique code and unique batch. As you can see in the picture, in last year, 49 millions of secondary units have been received. <clears throat> All units are traced, obviously. But the point to match here is that 6.4 million were traced by a serial number, so by a unique code. Then we compose or produce almost 30,000 multi pallet, multi product, multi batch kits, uh, like pharma box, pharma box like, using serial shipped container code to identify these boxes. We deliver it boxes direct, directly to healthcare provider and 93 local warehouse. This point are identified with using global location number. An evaluation was conducted using SHIS-1 Global Traceability Conformance Healthcare, GTSH. The baseline was 32% in 2012, and here are the main results. We increased compliance to 94% in 2014, and we achieved all mandatory items you can see you have here, she, she has one certificate over there. In addition, we incorporated scan technology and improved our information system for the management of supply chain. In the picture, there are both the kits and an associated document with a serial shipping container core in a barcode as a data career. So the, the ongoing is working with key performance indicator. We have our own, our own indicator, but just to to organize them in order to be more clear for the for, for suppliers, especially for pharmaceutical companies. And in the picture, you can see a pile. This is available in our website, too. It's public information. And in the last phase, or utilization phase, which we, we, we can see our, our main outputs, one of two Ambulatory patients receive a prescription in primary care. 88% of 10 here has medicine for free. That's the point. It is for free for people in your country. 2,000 doctors were trained in a rational use training program to improve rational use. 20 million of prescriptions were registered in paper support in uh, 2014. But this year we incorporate to uh, 1,200 healthcare providers were equipped with a computer and an optical capture device. <clears throat> so the ongoing change involved patient compliance and promotion of rational conception. This is an example. In this order, a soft to the electronic recording of the dispense was developed. The soft allowed to scanning identification standard, both for drugs and for person using our national ID. We catch it in five in a little seconds. 
And obviously, as you can imagine, this allows you to define other systems, for instance, for chronic people, for women with uh, contraceptive, for refiles, et cetera, et cetera. And last but not the least, we produce training material for the health team in order to support the process and provide useful information to the community. Sorry. Come back. So management of drug supply chain in the public sector requires strong partnership with the private sector for a natural division of works, as you can imagine. And the use of a standard and uh, also the use of quality certified process play a critical role to strengthen these relationships. For both public and private, uh, private operators, compliance with regulation designed uh, to ensure the legality of transaction in the supply chain seems to be possible. I hope you see it. And it's necessary to invest in, in technology and training at local level, healthcare providers, for instance, to ensure proper dispensation, because this allows patients safely develop open awareness systems, monitoring, identification of drug interaction, cost reduction, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, thank you, and I hope you visit that. We live in a nice country. <laughs>